Let's turn this down a little bit. That's all. So what we've done is basically we spent the day fastening everything down so it's all screwed out. That was before, but we put a block underneath here, which is a very close. So we can mount components on there and do the same thing. We've mounted that and that. So now the whole thing is uh, oops, just a little bit, uh, connector. The whole thing basically now is mounted on a a board, so we're not going to get problems with wires, which is good. So what we've done basically is we've marked up according to the software, and this is the software algorithm. If you can make that out. And so I marked up U, V and W in the software algorithm for the stepping sequence. And I'm mapping that to the LEDs and what I found out in natural fact is it's reversed. So the, uh, the, uh, that's the least significant bit there. And that's the most significant bit. The least significant bit maps to what? Hmm. LD1 through to 6 and then 7 and 8 aren't connected. And so what I've done, you may not be able to see this, but you can see where I've marked it. So it's U, V, W and the minus and the pluses, which map to the uh, U, V and W. I don't know if I make it out. U, V and W and the minus and the pluses there. So that sequence there will map onto these LEDs according to this little uh, diagram that I've done. I did another one there, but I got it the wrong way around. And then I've traced through the connections. So now we've got... Uh-huh. Oh, you can see it. But hey oh, Yes, there you go. U, V and W. Okay, map to the channels for the relays. Okay, and then we've got minus and plus and minus and plus there, so we know which ones are which. So these guys map through to these, and then these guys map through to these. So we've got uh, under here, U, V, and W, and that's the plus, and that's the, I suppose that's positive and negative, okay, because black white. Uh, and then we've got plus. The pluses are on this side, so the white wires, and then the minuses are the yellow wires, which are on that side. Okay, so we've got, you know, the mappings, and then what we've done is we've then marked up this. You see, we've got U, V, and and W. So we now know, right? So if we follow all that back, then the software there does feed into that. And the reason why is, of course, is because we need to mark this up so that we know that when it's connected up in a certain way, that it does certain things. And what I found out is that there's a little bit of hysteresis in here, and as you can see on the marks, so when it was turning, can I do it? So that's going backwards. What I've done is I've reversed U and W here, so as to make it go backwards in in our world. And then you can see that the green marks line up. There's a slight offset, but basically, if I just keep my finger on it, you can see. It's like an animation, stop motion animation, the green marks line up. Okay, ish. It's slightly to the right. I think that's probably because I was doing it from the right. Now if I now change these over so that the back how I originally did it, which is where we put the connections on correctly, so that U, V and W wired here are as per this, then it goes forwards. Okay, let's move that out of the way. And then you can see that the red marks line up. It did line up, where are we going? Yeah, it's supposed to. Yeah, you can see if I, I mean, for some reason it seems, oh, it's because of the lens of the camera, it's me, isn't it? The camera lens is off site, but you can see that the red marks now for every click line up, you see. So the real, uh, stop it there. So the actual real, uh, m you know, where the phase actually is, is obviously between the green and the red, because they're in two different directions and it's to do with the momentum of this uh, CD, it's a CDR. Okay, so the real marks are actually between the two, so that gives us the accuracy, an accurate uh, position now for where the uh, magnet should be. Okay, so I'm going to finish today, but tomorrow basically it's a case of mounting the magnets again. Uh, and here's the old one. So all we're really doing is we're talking about where, where it mounts the magnets, and then we have to work out where we're going to mount where we're going to mount the sensors. So the magnets they obviously go on what was what is the big red lines, but actually the green mark shows the exact position. So that one's on that one there. Obviously it's slightly to the right, 
you see, and the same for all of them, and then that will mean that we can stick the magnets on, and then we can then take the uh, the uh, these and, ma and mark up, you see, exactly where the sensor should go, and we've got, we've actually got, you've got all of that, and all of that, and all of that, and all of that, so we've actually got four segments that we can use, but we'll probably just use these two here, one set for the uh, read relays and the other set for the uh, um, uh, hall effects. And this piece of toweling here is just to provide some damping because if you don't, as you can see, things just get a little bit on the springy side. And it, oh dear, you see. And what I've done is I've raised the voltage so that it's, uh, yeah, you can see, there's no way you can mark that up, is there? <laughs> so you, you basically have to jam something in underneath there just so that it'll, uh, it, it just simply provides it with a bit of damping, effectively. In fact, that's not enough now. Just jump in a bit further. There we go. You see, and so you can see that now it, it's a bit deadbeat now, you see? Yep. Now, we've actually got this motor running, obviously, pretty stationary on three volts, and I can feel through those bolts that the coils are getting a bit warm. But that's only so that it provides it with enough uh, locking current, so it steps it correctly. So we've got the wheel marked up, effectively, and then we can use those markings now to mark up underneath, right, so that we know where to put the sensors as well. And we'll do that tomorrow, and then we'll reconstruct the uh, the old clacker box with the reed relays. We'll start again with that, and then move on to solid state with uh, all effects, eventually. And hopefully we'll do all that tomorrow. Yeah, there we go. But at least it's all mounted on a board. I might even put the power packs on it, I don't know. <laughs>